Every Minecraft player has a preferred food, and there's a big chance that you, like most other players, prefer one of two foods. If you value saturation over hunger, you will probably eat golden carrots, and if you value hunger over saturation, you'll probably eat steaks. There are of course some exceptions, but my observations still tell me that outside of early game or unless they're doing a weird challenge, players usually pick one of those two and stick with it for the entire game. So how could we make the other food sources more relevant? My solution starts with one new concept. When an animal is affected by a potion effect, its meat should keep that effect and give it to the player that eats it. The effect that you get from meat would have a shorter duration than the potion and could only have the basic level 1 effect. That way potion would stay relevant as their effects would be stronger or last for longer. Each type of meat would also have a preferred effect for which it would give a longer duration. For example, let's say cows have an affinity for strength. A cow affected by strength would give meat that grants this effect for 45 seconds, but a cow affected by speed would give meat that grants speed for only 30 seconds. They could not hold more than one effect, giving priority to their preferred one, than to the effect that has the longest duration left. These effects would be kept when cooking these meats and crafting more complex meals like for example the rabbit stew. Here are my suggestions for each meat's preferred effect. Strength would work better with beef, invisibility with mutton, leaping with rabbits, slow falling with chickens, water breathing with any type of fish, and fire resistance with pork chops. However, 1.16 is still in the works and by the time I'm recording this, Huglins drop pork chops. In case a meat specific to Huglins is introduced in the game, I would make this little change where fire resistance would work better with Huglin meat and swiftness would work better with pork chops. This idea would combine very well with an enchantment that I suggested for the hoe in the previous episode. For the full video about hoes, check out the link in the description or in the top right corner. To summarize that idea, I suggested a way to get some magic crops that would give an effect specific to each plant when eaten by a player. The effects that I would suggest for each crop are Night Vision for the Carrot, Saturation for the Potato, Absorption for Beetroots, Resistance for Wheat, Healing for Melon Slices, and Pumpkins would be a bit different since they are usually used more as a block than as a food source. Turning a Magic Pumpkin into a Jack-o'-lantern would ward the area around it against evil spirits, meaning that hostile mobs would not get within 5 blocks of it and if they are forced to go inside that area, they will leave as soon as they can. Cooking a magic pumpkin into a pumpkin pie would instead give this effect for a short time to the player that eats it, making hostile mobs avoid that player. Same as for meats, these effects could be transferred to food crafted with those magic vegetables. That way, we could create complex meals that give the player multiple effects for a short time every time they eat them. So this would be a good time to add even more craftable meals like hamburgers, all sorts of stews, chicken pot pies, or any other recipe ideas you could come up with. So there it is, these are my ideas to add a bit more variety to food in Minecraft. Now it's your turn to share your ideas and suggestions in the comments down below. I read them all and I always take them into consideration. I would like again to thank my friends over at the Withering Effect podcast who inspired this series. They do some amazing stuff and you should really go and listen to them if you haven't already. Thanks for watching and have a great day.